Parliamentary blogs are becoming more and more popular and it seems that everyone's at it. From number 10 Downing Street's YouTube site to webcameron.org and most of our Thames Valley MPs are at it too. Anne Snellgrove, the MP for South Swindon, is ahead of the game because she has video on her website. And we're here to talk about parliamentary blogs. It seems that everyone's doing it. Why is it important for you? But it's really important to demystify what goes on in the House of Commons and the Houses of Parliament. And I think blogs are a fantastic way of getting to a new audience and a different audience and perhaps a, a younger audience as well. I mean, the young vote is so crucial for all politicians. They notoriously don't vote. So why would a blog make any difference? Well, I think they spend a lot of time looking at blogs on the, on the internet. And I hope that they'll look at mine and get some information about what goes on at party conferences, what goes on in the House of Commons, but of course more women than men blog as well, so it's a great way to get, get through to the to the net mums who are on the on the blogs and on the uh, internet during the day. And how many kind of hits are you getting on your website? Because yours is fairly well established mm. and you've taken on video now as well, so how popular is it proven? Well we get hundreds rather than thousands and I want to improve it so that we do get thousands because as you all know the popular blogs and your ITV um, uh, websites get millions, get thousands every day. So why did you decide to do video? I mean, we've got people like John Redwood who's writing on his blog, we've got Sir George Young who's writing on his blog. Why go a step further and put video? You can do video instantly and uh, to get sit down and write something is a bit of a chore and sometimes the time that I've got to write is very late at night and you know I often don't get around to doing it but if we're going to do a video we can do it here and now I can record my thoughts it's much more instant instant for me instant and fresh for the people coming to it and I, I'm, I'm a bit of an ex-English teacher I do tend to spend a long time correcting my own English so it gets a bit boring <laughs> After my job, why you do pieces of camera and interviews? <laughs> no, I'm not, Sally. I think you're much better at it than me. <laughs> um, I, I see you doing one at the conference where you just kind of grabbed Michael Grade yeah. and asked him some questions. How have people responded to doing this? Well, I think people really, really like it. I mean, I think our blogs are so much different to uh, what goes on in professional television studios and professional um, interviewers like you, um, that it kind of provides a nice contrast. I don't think we'll ever replace you, but I think what we can do is um, provide an insight into our world, which is fresh and enthusiastic, and hopefully brings people in. I think one of the things is you spend a lot of your time up here at the House of Commons in Westminster and you divide your time with being down in Swindon. Is this a way for your constituents to see how you're representing them and understanding the parliamentary process? Well, they can certainly see what I'm up to and I'd say it hopefully demystifies it a bit, makes it clearer as to the things that I do here. Because even my own husband doesn't understand what I get up to here. I mean, he follows my progress on the websites, but uh, I always say to him, I put another uh, another little video blog on, you can see what I look like if you've forgotten about me. <laughs> and that's great. Thanks very much for talking to us. Thanks, Sally.